Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you three different uh, reminder extensions that you could use for Google Chrome and it should work for Microsoft Edge as well. So if you're in your browser a lot and you like to set reminders and you don't want to you know, do something from Outlook or use the Windows uh, notifications, that type of thing, then you could set up these extensions. So we're going to show you each one of these so you could see which one you like the best or maybe you want to use more than one. So the first one's called Remind Me. It's just a really simple one. So we're just going to add it to Chrome, add extensions. And now it puts it up here. So if you want to pin it, you could click on your extensions button and pin it. So now to use it, you could either tell it a specific time to remind you, or you could do uh, after a certain amount of minutes or hours. So let's say we're going to do just one minute. You have to put a value for hours too. Let's say uh, lunch. Set reminder. It tells you you set a reminder. And now we'll just kind of fast forward and I'll show you when it pops up here in a minute. Okay, so there's our reminder right there. Then you could just you know close it out just like that. So like I said, this one just has a, a couple of different types, you know, uh, a timed one or at a certain time. And that's about all it does. All right, so next we're going to go to my reminder. I'll add this one to Chrome. Okay, then we'll pin this as well. You don't have to pin it, obviously, but if these makes it easier to get to if you're going to use it a lot. Okay, so this one, uh, you could either do a quick ad, so 15 minutes from now, one hour from now, or one day from now, or you could put in a certain time, so it's 1.53. So if you click on it, you could type it in, or you could click on the uh, actual calendar here, pick the date, and do the little, you know, one, the, the minutes, and even the seconds, and then a.m. and p.m. So we'll just do 1.54 and leave it at 10 seconds. Let's call this one test, save reminder. And you could also show your upcoming reminders and actually cancel it out from here too if you want. And how many entries, and you could even search for them if you have a lot. So we'll fast forward this again. And so 154, we'll be back with uh, this reminder. All right, so there's our 154 in 10 seconds reminder. And going back here, show upcoming, there's nothing left there. Okay, so the last one we're going to look at is just called Reminders. So add to Chrome, add extension. Same thing, we'll pin it. All right, so this has a few different types of reminders. So if you click on the plus, you could just do text, which is not a reminder, it's just something that's going to stay up in here. So let's say... Uh, So this will actually, it's not going to actually send a reminder. It's just going to show up here, you know, with the number one there, just to kind of tell you it's there. So the next type is a notification. So let's put the text here. And then we could pick the time here. We'll pick 156. You could have a repeat. in the sound and you could have it removed after the activation. So we'll just go ahead and say done to that and then be back at 156. All right, so there's our sales meeting. We'll close that out. Then we'll go to the next type. You can see our dry cleaning message is still there. You can see our past meetings or our past uh, notifications, I should say. Open a new tab. So let's say we're gonna go to And make the tab active, which will open it, you know, and take your browser to it. We'll change this to 57 and repeat never. And we'll click done to that. So you can see now it's interactive. And so we'll wait till 157. All right, so there's our reminder. And then it actually took us to the uh, website right there at that time. And then finally we have task. And for this one, let's see. Here, do this one 58. And by the way, you could also change the uh, priority levels here. So we'll wait till 158. See how it's green there? And we'll see what this one does. 
See now for the tasks, you could click on done or you could postpone for some time. So if you click on postpone, it will extend it 10 minutes and then notify you again. So that's it for the four types. We have the text, which is just going to stay up here, uh, defaulting a regular notification, open a new tab, a new web page, and then the task, which gives you an option to uh, mark it as done or extend it. Now, one thing I don't like about this is if you have something active here, you can't get rid of it. So it's gonna, you're going to have to wait till it notifies you again, then clear it out. Same with your past one. You can't really clear it. So that's kind of a bummer for that one, but I guess it's no big deal. And one thing too, for all of these, they should work if even if you close Chrome, because you probably have some kind of Chrome process running in the background. So it'll still notify you even if you close your browser. So that's another good thing too. So I will put a link for each one in the description, and then you could uh, pick the ones you like based on this video or try them all out. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.